that you can multiply or divide. But this is what I like to tell you when you kind of get confused. Whatever you do to the top must come to the bottom, okay? Whatever you do to the top, you must do it to the bottom too. Otherwise, it won't be a equivalent fraction, okay? So, let's get these fractions out. If you don't know fractions, you should check out our fraction video. So, okay, let's take these fractions. So, two parts, so the denominator, yeah, two. How many parts are shaded? One. So, the numerator is one. Okay. How many parts? Four. So, what's the denominator? Four. How many pieces are shaded? Again, right, two. Okay. Last one. How many pieces? Eight. Right. I know that took a little time. So how many pieces are shaded? Four. So if I'm thinking, these kind of look familiar. One part is shaded. Another one part is shaded. One side is shaded again. Well, you might be thinking, these can be equivalent fractions. Yes, these are equivalent. Let's show you. If you don't believe this, let's show you. So. First of all, you should get a So, go grab a piece of paper or anything and then copy this down. Pause the video. Okay, let's get started now. If you got that piece of paper and a pencil, great. So, I'll tell you how familiar these are. Draw an arrow, point at each other. Okay, so, point at both of them. And I'll show you why we need to point at them. And when you're done with this, okay. Okay, let's get started now. So, two multiplied by two equals four. See how familiar they are? Multiply by two. So now, one multiplied by two equals two. So multiplied by two. See what I told you, whatever happens to the top must happen to the bottom. See, we both multiplied it by two, right? So first, if, so first you saw this formula example, now do it to all of these. Pause the video. Okay. Now, if you finish these, good. And if you feel a little still itty bitty confused, let's go over it together, okay? So, did you do the arrows? If you did, great, that helps. So, I'll do the arrows. Okay, two, two multiply by two equals four. four. Two. Okay. Four multiplied by two equals eight. So multiply by two. So if you got all your answers correct. Okay. So you see we all used twos. See how equivalent they are? So now you might, when I told you that you can divide it, you might be like, no, nah, we can't divide it. We can. So, let me erase this right now. Now we're going to divide them. Okay. You might be like, dividing is kind of tricky this time. Well, it's not. It's the same way we did multiplication. But just the pop opposite. Okay. So, instead of doing this way to this way, we're going to do this way to this way. Okay, so let's do the opposite now. Two divided by two equals one. So we're going to do a division sign and write two. So four divided by two equals two. So divided by two. Four divided by two equals two. So divided by two. 
8 divided by 2 equals 4. Okay. So now we're all done and steady and set. Now we're going to find two, three uh, equivalent fractions. So, okay, now we're going to solve some questions, okay? One's going to be multiplications and one is going to be division, okay? So, now, six multiplied by what equals 12? This is kind of like a little way to solve this easier, okay? So you can do this. Well, if you know six multiples, then you know this. Well, yes, duh. Multiples of multiplied by two. Multiplied by two. So, two multiplied by two equals four, yes. Now, we're going to do the second question with the multiplication. So, four multiplied by four equals 16. So, six multiplied by four equals 24. Well, if you want to divide these, you just put a division sign right here. Okay, right here. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to click that bell.